In this video, you'll see how to use AWS Systems Manager to automate patching of your Windows and Linux servers, create patch groups for different environments and roles, and set up patching schedules to install patches on a regular basis. We'll start in the AWS Management Console. Before you can patch your Windows and Linux servers, you'll need to first ensure that your instances are being managed by AWS Systems Manager. To do this, let's create a role having specific permissions in Identity and Access Management, or IAM. The service that will use this role is Amazon Elastic Cloud Compute, or EC2. Next, let's search for the appropriate policy to attach to the role. In this case, we want to give Systems Manager permission to manage our EC2 instances. Next, enter a role name. When you're ready, click the button to create the role. Once you've created a role that ensures your instances will be managed by Systems Manager, you can assign the role to existing instances or create new instances. In this case, let's create some new EC2 instances, starting with Linux. Next, let's choose an Amazon machine image for Linux. Choose an instance type and then configure the instance details. In this case, let's create five instances. Next, let's assign the role we just created to these instances. Accept the terms and then launch the instances. Scroll down to view the instances. Next, let's name the Linux instances. Now that we've launched some Linux instances, let's launch some Windows instances in a similar fashion. Now, let's verify that both the Amazon EC2 Linux and Windows servers have been properly configured for Systems Manager, so we can begin patching them. As you can see, the new machines now appear in our managed instances. Before diving into the native AWS Systems Manager Patch Manager, let's look at the default patch baselines. A patch baseline defines which patches are approved for installation on your instances. You can use the predefined baselines, or you can create your own baselines if you want greater control. Let's select a default patch baseline for Amazon Linux 2 machines, and then add a patch group to it. A patch group is a way to organize instances for patching. You can create different patch groups for different operating systems, environments, or server functions by using Amazon EC2 tags. In this case, the patch group will be used for a Linux 2 production environment. Next, let's add the Windows instances to the patch group. Now that we've created the patch group, let's take a look at the approval rules. An approval rule specifies that certain types of patches, such as critical updates, should be automatically approved and installed. For instance, this approval rule indicates that the system will be updated within seven days. Next, let's go back to the EC2 Management Console and see how to apply tags to the Linux and Windows instances we created. Select the instances you want to tag. Each tag is a simple label consisting of a defined key and the optional value that you define. This key value pair makes it easy to manage, search for, and filter your resources. When you configure patching for the patch group, it will pull all the instances having this key value pair. Now that we've set that up, we're ready to configure patching for the patch group. First, specify a patching schedule. 
In this case, we'll schedule a new machine maintenance window. You can specify a maintenance window schedule by using a cron schedule builder or rate schedule builder, or you can enter a cron rate expression. Let's use a cron schedule builder. Next, indicate how often to run the maintenance window. Let's run it every day at the specified time. Next, enter a name for the maintenance window. Now, click Configure Patching. If you want to patch instances on demand, that's easy too. Let's see how. In this case, we'll skip scheduling and patch the instances now. Behind the scenes, Patch Manager is using a run command to patch the instances. Let's take a look at the details. As you can see, some instances have already successfully been patched, while others are still in progress. Let's view the output for one of the instances that's completed patching. You can see that there are two commands, one for patching Windows and one for patching Linux. If the instance is a Windows machine, the Linux command will get skipped, and vice versa. Let's drill down into the output for the Windows command. This output offers information on the patch group, baseline ID, start and end time of the operation, the number of patches installed, and more. In this case, we patched our instances by using a default patch baseline. Let's take a quick look at how you can create a custom patch baseline if you want. You can search for available patches by product or severity to help define your own patch baseline. Creating a new patch baseline takes just a few steps. First, enter a name for the baseline. Next, create auto-approval rules if you want. You can also add any exceptions to automatically approve or reject individual patches if needed. Now, your custom baseline can be used to patch your managed instances. You've just seen how to use AWS Systems Manager to automate patching of your Windows and Linux servers, create patch groups for different environments and roles, and set up patching schedules to install patches on a regular basis. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.